That needs to be changed, plain and simple. But, but Congressman, why are they going to stop abusing their power when they know there are no consequences for abusing their power? You just said there were more than 60 mistakes. We know that there were also 17 errors uh, in, in the actual yep. uh, FISA applications. Carter Page was wiretapped for more than a year with no charges ever brought against him. How are we allowing innocent citizens to get wiretapped and spied on and not having any consequences whatsoever? Where is the John Durham investigation? Yeah, well, I, I mean, uh, who the heck knows, frankly, is the answer to that question. I, I've had constituents continue to ask me about that. I don't know. No one knows. We were supposed to have the Durham report over a year ago. Uh, I just don't know where that is. This is another reason why we need to have the attorney general in front of the Judiciary Committee ask them questions. But the bottom line is, we in Congress, we can't hold anyone accountable. We can't put anyone in jail. Only the Justice Department can do that. All we can do is ask the questions, do the investigations, and get the information out there so the American people have it and can use that information when they go to the polls and decide who's going to represent them in the United States Congress and who's going to be the president of the United States. So that's how our system works. Yeah. Our job is to get the information and make it public. We're going to keep doing that. But frankly, I don't know when Durham's report's going to come. And I'm just as mad as everyone else because we were supposed to have that yeah. information a year ago uh, about what took place in the whole Trump-Russia investigation and how they spied on yeah. American citizens, how they spied on a Republican's candidates for president's campaign. Well, meanwhile, all of these agencies continue to be politicized. You just mentioned the IRS leaks to the major newspapers about people's personal yeah. taxes, even if there wasn't anything wrong, they were using all of the tools available to them. Who's leaking people's taxes so that they can uh, spread this, uh, underline this idea to do a wealth tax and, and align with the president's ideas to tax everybody, uh, the highest taxes we've yep. seen in a generation? Is the IRS being politicized again the way it was under Obama? I love what the what the journal said in their op-ed. They said that didn't take long. You know, here we are five months in the Biden administration. We're right back to where we were 10 years ago in the Obama Biden administration That's right. when Lois Lerner targeted conservatives around the country. So, um, yeah, this is a problem. I hope there's an investigation here and we get to the bottom of this. But I think in a general sense, Maria, we, we need to understand that the left controls so, the, the left controls big media, the left controls big tech. They now control big corporations, big sports. They control Hollywood. They control higher wow. education. The left controls the White House. They control the Congress. And most importantly, they control the bureaucracy. So we've got to get a handle on this. I hope there's an investigation where we can find out who, in fact, leaked this private information about American citizens. Congressman, we're counting on you. It's good to see you. Thank you, sir. Congressman Jim Jordan joining us this morning in that exclusive. Coming up this